Hello everyone. The COVID infection rates in Brighton and Hove are exceptionally high and therefore I wanted to tell you some of the changes that we are going to introduce as from next Sunday to try and keep everyone as safe as possible. Uh, the first thing to say is that there will be no refreshments either before or after the service and that's going to be going forwards uh, until we think it's safe to reintroduce them. And uh, if you were going to bring mince pies on Sunday night, um, well, you're now going to have some extra ones at home, I guess, if you've already bought them. They, they normally have quite a good sell-by, so uh, uh, enjoy them at home instead. Uh, the second thing to say is that we're going to be separating the rows in church a little bit uh, further, so to give us a bit more space between the rows. And then the third thing is that we're going to uh, remove those red reserved signs, as that what they weren't really being very used very much. Uh, and we're going to reintroduce the please can you leave three chairs between household groups and we will have some little cards printed and ask the welcome teams to be giving those out on Sunday just to say uh, when you've sat down can you just make sure there are three chairs between uh, the next household between you and the next household group uh, so that will be starting on uh, on Sunday morning um, from Sunday evening we'll also have an overflow through in the church lounge with the same uh, rules working there and we want to say to people we have said to people actually for those who are taking part in the service so if you're reading praying if you're in a choir for Sunday evening for instance uh, and you feel uncomfortable with all this uh, then there is no problem at all if you if you wish to step back if you're if you're not feeling that this is uh, quite right for you. Um, now we also want to say we have uh, the mask wearing continues and so we will ask the well it's the government rules isn't it we have to wear the masks in church and although there is a bit of a loophole there saying you could take them off to sing we really want to strongly encourage people to keep them on while we're singing because uh, it seems to me that singing is the time when both you could give covid to someone else and you're likely possibly if you have it to uh, to do that and also to catch covid yourself so we want to stop that so we ask people to keep them on while while we're singing as well and take a lateral flow test if you possibly can before you come. Um, of course there are, there are exceptions if you're up front if you're leading praying on the blue carpet area do take your mask off for those particular things and you may be medically exempt of course we understand that as well. Uh, we're going to re review things on Monday to see how things look leading up to Christmas and if there are further changes of course I'll let you know those things. Uh, do be praying and of course you'll be able to join us online um, and uh, that is uh, for your decision so do pray for wisdom over whether that's uh, whatever there is the right thing for you and your family this Christmas time. So uh, uh, I'll look forward to uh, seeing you whether it's uh, uh, kind of in a virtual kind of way or uh, in reality in the flesh uh, at some point very soon. Uh, over this Christmas time. Bye for now.